welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms hello everyone you're welcome to my channel learn and earn academy today the whole country is celebrating 76th anniversary of quit india movement a movement which was launched by mahatma gandhi on 8th of august 1942 this one movement made the entire country come towards and united to fight against the britishers it was one of the most significant movements in the history of indian freedom struggle which laid the foundation for india's independence today we are going to learn and understand how this important movement in our history has defined indian politics and how we as a nation got independence now quit india movement is also called august movement or august kranti because it was launched by mahatma gandhi under the ambit of indian national congress on 9th august 1942 The slogans which were given for this movement was quit India or Bharat Chodo in literal terms it means britishers leave india and gandhi ji made this movement more powerful by giving the slogan do or die for the people which means that this is the last opportunity for all the indians to unite together and fight the britishers the aim of this movement was a peaceful non-violent movement which only aimed at urging the britishers to give india freedom the intention was not to create any form of violence but to pursue britishers to give india the independence which we as a nation deserved The Quit India Resolution was passed by Congress Working Committee on 8th of August 1942 in Bombay and Gandhi ji was named the leader of this movement. Now the resolution which was passed in Bombay for this movement had certain provisions the objectives and the biggest objective was to remove british rule over india immediately declare commitment to free india and let india fight against any form of imperialism and fascism so in other words india wanted complete independence from british rule as the prime objective of quit india movement in 1942 the other objective was to form a provincial or a provisional government of india after british withdrawal so once the britishers go from india there should be a provisional government which will take care of the people for the time being Now Gandhi ji gave strict instructions to the people how to go about this movement to all the government servants Gandhi ji said not to resign your job but to proclaim your loyalty towards Indian National Congress to all the soldiers be with the army but refrain firing to our own people to peasants and farmers pay the agreed rent to the landlord zamindars 
if they are anti-government and if they are pro-government that is if they support Britishers do not pay the rent students if they are confident they can leave their studies and fight and come together to join this movement and do all the princes support the people and accept sovereignty of them so all the instructions which were given by Gandhi ji the prime motive of all these instructions was to let people raise their voice against British rule by being where they are and not take any drastic steps that would not only hamper their own living but also may be a reason for violence. So it's a very carefully thought movement by Gandhiji. As we have already discussed, this resolution was passed on 8th August 1942 at Bombay. And the power of quit in your movement was that Britishers had to lay down and come up with a solution to transfer the power to India and give independence. So this was the first important step taken by Britishers to give India its freedom. So if you like this video, you can press the like button. Also subscribe to my channel so that in future, when I make a mid video, you are the first one to receive it. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. If you like my video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell icon.